Okay, number 15. First thing is trying to find x. That x is part of this inscribed angle. So in a triangle I see there, 62 plus 28. All right, 62 plus 28 is 90. Triangle, that means this is gonna be 90. And because that's 90, taking that eight that out, the x is gonna be 180 degrees. Uh, 360 minus 220. 360 minus 220 is 140. And that x is half of that 140, so half of 140 is 70. 35 out, that gets me 70. And then x is part of a semicircle, and half of 180, x is 90. Okay, on number letter D. Okay, that 90 degrees that's given to us goes to inscribed angle X, so that's 45. That 170 arc that is given to us goes to angle Z, and half of 170 is 85. And for Y, it's part of a triangle, 180 minus 45 minus 85. Y is 50 degrees. So 50, uh, uh, X was 45 and Z was 85. All right, <clears throat> letter E. 240 is what we start off with. That means this little bitty arc is 120. That little bitty arc being 120, X is the central angle, so that's 120. Y is given to us. Y, or not given to us, but Y we can find that is outside the circle, half of the larger arc, minus the smaller arc. So one half of 120, y is 60. Now in that 60, that's y, we have ourselves an isosceles triangle. The reason why it's isosceles is these two uh, sides of the triangle are tangent and they're equal because they intersect outside the circle. And that means those two angles Right here, the base angle Z is equal to this angle right here. And 180 minus 60 is 120. 120 remains, so Z is 60. All right, letter F. Okay, that's an isosceles triangle inside of there. So 54 degrees has been used. 180 minus 54 is 126. 126 cut up equally is 63. With that being 63, all right, I can take uh, this 63, if I could write it, out, and that will give me that arc for x, and x is then gonna be half of that. So 63 doubled is 126, and half 126 takes me back to 63. Uh, Z then is gonna be half of 54 right here, so, or sorry, 54 out gives me 108, and half of 108 takes me back to 54. 